Tri City Big Boys. I'm Catfish. And I'm the Bigger Man. And we this is should be a Sunday video. We we went to the North Carolina Fair so uh, on Sunday, so we didn't get a chance to do the video. And uh, anyway, we back with y'all now. And we had uh, we had some questions. We got some shout outs. Um, some guys want to talk about some guns. So me and the Bigger Man, we're gonna run through this thing for you all. Bigger Man, you going to start off? Okay. Uh, the first first thing I want I just want to say. Uh, thank all of you guys for, for your positive comments to try to see the bigger boys on YouTube. And uh, and guys, uh, the weather is out here is just perfect right now, man. I want to be in the woods. I know cat, catfish just came, came out of the woods, but I want to be in the woods right now. And uh, and guys, let me let me just tell you real quick. The hurricane knocked a bunch of my trees down uh, where I was going to put my running pin. And I, uh, I got a little small running pin. Catfish got one. Now I got to cut some trees, and then again, I don't know. I might just leave the trees in there and build a pen around it. So, guys, that's what I'm hoping to do. And, uh, and guys, I just want to do a shout-out real quick to Stan Wood. Uh, Stan, I know you're talking about a uh, cat, say catfish uh, need some shotgun shells real bad, but, uh, guys, we're going we're gonna to show you what he's shooting this morning. And, and Stan, you also said he needs some... He don't just need shotgun shells. He needs some arrows. Hey, um, uh, uh, pull your boys, pull yours uh, out. Hey, look, guys. Uh, we since since Stan talking, uh, we're gonna let let him go in ahead and we it's, coming for you, it's, Stan. It's, let him see the, how the moss birds look. Uh, say it's at 500, and uh, at 535, we had uh, a guy actually asked some questions about it, and he wanted to know how good the gun was and um. Uh, you know what we thought about the guns, and and I absolutely loved it. This has been a wonderful gun. I'm not sure how long me and Dad had them, um, but w wonderful guns, easy to work on, um, no no failures. Um, and even the time that I did have some 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 trash in the barrel from beating the bushes, uh, Peanut Son, a uh, young buck, he went out there, and I'm Jeremy, he went out there and broke it down right there on the truck and fixed it and cleaned it out for me and everything. So. Anyway, Stan Woods, um, uh, go on ahead and get used to it. Watch out for the gold <laughs> trigger. <laughs> gold trigger, Stan. Uh, hey, that's your little bad, Stan. <laughs> but, that, but that's that Mossberg. That's that 500 and 535. And again, guys, wonderful guns, tough guns. I'm not going to tell y'all about it. I'm going to let this guy tell you. Uh, he, shot a, uh, he shot a bear with a Mossberg 500. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'll let y'all wait for the video to come out. Live action, but Stan Woods, I know Walmart got them, um, got them, um, them shells on sale. I ain't messing with you. Don't you worry. We got you. All right. Hey, uh, <coughs> listen, uh, uh, Michael Hampton, I just want to say, uh, thank you for all your positive comments you've been sending us. Thanks for all the videos you've been sending. Yep. And we're trying to get that video saved so y'all can see, because he bought one of he bought one of our puppies. That's and right. And y'all, he's working that dog. He's doing a good job with the dog. That's right. And uh, Don Bates, uh, uh, I just want to say thank you for all your positive comments, and I'm gonna keep on down the line. And uh, Michael Cuff, uh, you said you love our dogs. And you said you could see the compassion in me for my dog. Well, I'm going to tell you, I love my dogs. And I've been like that all my life. And, and, and guys, my wife will tell you, sometimes she thinks my dogs come first before her. Well, I ain't, I won't comment on that. But uh, anyway. Who's that? Uh, Jonah Peak. Jonah Peak. He wanted a shout out. You got your you shout out. You got your out, shout out, Jonah Peak. Thank you, uh, Jonah, for, for, for uh, being on YouTube with us. And, uh. What was that on? Um, Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades want to see um, cooking. It, yeah, big old man do some cooking. Uh, he could cook up some rabbit and some deer meat too. But mom, mom can hook up some 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 uh, yeah, rabbit gravy. too. Yeah, man. Uh, and we gonna do it. We def we gotta get some meat on the ground. Um, and y'all y'all gonna definitely see that. Jack of all trades. We got you, buddy. All right. And JJ, uh, you asked about our uh, uh, you gave us an invite uh to come up and uh. And, and do some uh, rap or uh, what is that? Uh, field trial. Field trial. But but guys, we, we uh, JJ, we don't have any field and trial dogs. Hey. The only thing we got is packing pleasure hounds. And uh, and, 
I don't know if they run a line straight enough to be in a field trial, but I know they can get a rabbit. They can put it on a rabbit. And uh, all right, and uh, thank you for that though. Thank you. And if we ever in Asheville, uh, we definitely gonna look you up. I'll, I'll make sure if I'm in Asheville, uh, if the bigger man and I will we'll definitely look you up. Um, so we can shake your hand and, and see what kind of um, see what kind of field trial area you got down there. We appreciate that. Yeah. We thank you for that. Yeah. Absolutely. It got uh, and uh, it uh, JJ, I would love to come down and and, and watch that field and try. I've been to a couple of them before, and I love every minute of it. And uh, I love to see them see what kind of dogs they got when they go to the field and trial and what dogs win. Yeah, uh, that's what I love. All right. So thank you, thank you, uh, JJ, and. Uh, uh, Marcus Phillips. Uh, Marcus, uh, you asked about whether we had any running dogs for sale right now. We don't have any running dogs, I'm sorry, uh, right now for sale. Uh, later on in the future, well, I probably will. The only thing we got is a couple of puppets for sale right now, and, that, and that's it. And, uh, but we uh, don't have any running dogs right now. And uh, Aunt Biz. I want to thank you for uh, thank you for your uh, invite. Hey, and we're gonna we're gonna look you up, Ed. Uh, you hang tight, please hang tight with us. Uh, but both bigger man and I, we 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 didn't we didn't overbook that. We have overstated <laughs> ourselves, <laughs> overbooked ourselves. Not saying we gonna get with you. We definitely gonna get with you. Uh, we got to go in ahead and get out there with Mike Harris and Stan Woods and Mass Fitness um, first. Um, before we do anything, we, we, we've been invited on deer hunts, we've been invited on rabbit hunts. We got to get some of these hunts down. We got to get them on camera. And uh, and again, I want I want to go hunting with everybody, and I want I want everybody to go hunting with us too as well. But just trying to get out to get to everybody. And, and anyway, guys, thank you. And, and yeah. look, I got I, and, and I got your stuff. And the bigger man and I are gonna give you a call, and, and we're gonna touch base with you. All right, now, uh, real quick. I want to come back on my, my boy, Mike Clark. Hey, Mike, I just want to let you know, boy, you got some pretty dogs. I saw them hounds you got in your backyard, and uh, and, and uh, they get it done for you. We've been watching your hunt, your hunting, deer hunting videos, and uh, and Mike, I miss being down in that country uh, where you at, you know, because we're from, we from uh, down in Virginia, too, and we're not that far from where you at. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, and, and y'all have to pay attention to this thing, it's two Mike Clarks. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. It's two Mike Clarks, and I believe both of both of them from Buckingham. I don't think none of them got nothing to do with either, each and other, <laughs> but it's two of them from Buckingham. One of them, <coughs> I, I know, do some deer hunting and stuff, and the other one do some hunting too as well. But it's, it's two different Mike Clarks. So we we gonna have to, we we gonna have to uh, find out which y'all which y'all CB handle is or whatever, because we gonna have to make sure we differentiate which one we talking about here, but uh, I know the one Dad talking about, and he talking about um, the one with all the deer hunting videos online yeah, on got, YouTube. And got all the food plots. Now what, uh, now, what I will say is, Danny, thank you for calling me and sharing your hunt with me. Guys, I'm gonna post um, Danny's buck up here on, on camera, uh, on, on YouTube. He killed a nice nine pointer. In, uh, in Maryland, and he called me, and he was so excited. I, I felt the energy. I also, I felt like I was there with him. Uh, I felt like I shot the buck with him. <laughs> Danny, thank you for sharing that. Um, guys, he shot that buck at 70 yards with a 10-point cross buck, mm -hmm. and he got it done. And uh, this, I think he didn't got two deer now, but he got it done. Danny, Congratulations to you, man. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I was, um, uh, me and mom had went on a walk on, on Saturday with the kids, and I stopped by Sheets, and uh, it was a young man up there. I think he was a Marine. Either way it go, he he um he was in his camo, and I asked him, I said, did you do anything this morning? He said, yeah, I got it done. And uh, he pointed to the back of the truck, and I looked on the back of the truck, and he had a nice buck up there. I'll show you all that. If y'all follow me on Instagram or Facebook, you probably already seen it, but I'll post it on this video too as well. Um, 
if I'm not mistaken, uh, Mike Clark, if I ain't mistaken, he, he, I think he sent me a, uh, a picture of a guy that shot a deer in the hunting club. Again, guys, these bucks are moving. Um, I got out this morning, and I'm hunting in this residential area that's not fully built. And doing that hunt, I've seen, I've, you know, I've seen folks driving around in a cul-de-sac and folks walking down through the woods, um, surveying or whatever. And I really thought the hunt was over. I really did. Matter of fact, I, I went on ahead and I pulled my trail camera and everything. Um, I'm, I'm like, it's just too much movement going around down there. And where them guys were walking around at, I got down out of the tree stand. And I said, well, I'm going to just do a little circle around the block and come back. As I was going down there making that circle, and it's about an hour apart, that buck, and I ain't sure which one it is, six point or which one it was, he was right there where them guys were standing there doing that daggone surveying, y'all. And I dropped down. I dropped down and cut the GoPro on, and I had my crossbow. And uh, I took my bag off, and I, and I just and I sit down on the ground. And I started hitting that grunt call, and he he knew something was down there, but I don't think he just knew, he might not knew something was right. But he didn't blow out of there, and I didn't go trying to chase after him. But then you ain't gonna do that with no crossbow. But um, uh, I was excited. That kept that kept my heart beating right there, guys, because I I was feeling right bad there one time. I was like, man, I hate to have to move. Um, the set that I got, but you know, eventually I'm gonna have to move it because it's a, you know it's that residential area. Yeah. So either way it go. Anyway, guys, I, the catfish is out there. I just ain't got no meat on the ground. I'm hunting. I ain't doing no killing. All right. All right. Yeah, y'all. Let's, yeah. let's see this dog. How's the bigger man got? He got a good one for y'all. Bigger man, show YouTube, show the show the friends and show the family what you got going on down here. Yeah, guys. Oh, uh, I just built the dog house for one of one of my buddies. That, that got some dogs from us. and uh, So this one is already sold? Yeah, this one is already sold. Okay. And uh, this is the second one that I built. And guys, here, here you go right here. I got the, I, I just, I put the door on right here, and I got a little handle on the bottom, and I got a lock that can lock it down. And uh, and guys, inside, you can see where the floor goes. The floor goes right in here. The floor sets right on right on these little uh, one, uh, one and a half by one and a half. And, and guys, the, the floor, the platform goes right in the top, and it'll fit right dead in there on the floor. All right, and guys, come on right here on the side, catfish. And uh, and guys, here's another door. You can reach up here. I put the little fancy handles on here. And uh, and guys, this got a latch on it right there. This door comes open and hangs down. And guys, what I what I got in here, <coughs> this is the wire right here, guys. So everything falls falls through. This wire is is one by two, exactly one by two. And where where you get the wire from? And I, I bought the wire down at Hall's Farm Supply in Drake's Branch, Virginia. That's my store. It used it, it was my store years and years ago. You could always go and buy anything you wanted when we lived in Virginia for your dogs. And uh, they got everything down there. And guys, you can check this right here, and put that back right here like that. And, uh, and guys, this the one by, I, the reason I use this wire is because when, if you put puppies in here, puppies can't get out of it. But if you use that regular two by three wire, puppies uh, can stick their head through that wire and it might, it might be dangerous for the puppies. And, and guys, let me show you a real smooth trick here. I got this, this is the floor that comes out. Now, now big man, now why, would, why would you want to pull your floor out like right, that? This floor, if you ever want to just bring your floor out and clean it, you can you can you, you can let your dogs out through the back. And guys, you bring the floor out, you know when it, when it needs cleaning and washing, you can just actually pull the whole floor out. Look at here, just like this right here. Clean it. You can hose it off or do whatever you want with it. And guys, then you can just put it right back in there. It goes right back in there. It's got a little handle right here where you can just put it in and slide. You just slide it right on in. How about that, guys? This is my little invention. And, uh, and guys, this is how I built some of my other uh, uh, dog houses off the ground years ago. And guys, I've had these dog houses probably 
I would say about 10, 12, maybe 13, maybe 13 years by now. And, uh, and these dog houses are still intact. And that's why I got my puppies in there. And guys, this, this is just the back of it right here. And, uh, and I painted it. Now guys, I use a, a exterior paint. It's brown. And that's, that's what I used on here. And I put two coats on it. And everything on here is painted. I didn't leave nothing unpainted so the water come off. And guys, I didn't bring the top, the, the, the roof out here right now. The roof is in there, but the whole roof slopes. The whole roof has got a, a three and a half inch slope on it. And uh, I got the roof in the shed because it looked like it's gonna rain out here. So I didn't bring the roof, I didn't bring the roof out here. And, and guys, this, this is a nice old dog house and it's gonna last, it'll last for years and years. And the guys are very satisfied with them. And, uh, and guys, the leg, everything here is, the, leg, uh, the two by fours are treated. Treated two by fours. So guys, that's how we do it here at Try See the Bigger Boys. Live action, guys. Look, we're gonna let y'all go. Um, uh, with the pictures that I post up here, y'all uh, y'all congratulate the guys that, that, that made these kills on these bucks. Um, uh, y'all, please send more pictures to me. Um, share, share your hunt with with everybody. Uh, let everybody enjoy um, the feeling that you get uh, when you out there in the woods. Please, uh, every, and we all enjoy it, right? Um, we all friends, we all family, and this is how we do it on Tri City Bigger Boys. Uh, guys, I'm Catfish, and I'm the Bigger Man, and we'll see you in the, in the woods. woods.